what is going on people it is your boy daddy mac and welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battle i am so excited because we just got we just finished recording our wi-fi battle that was that was uploaded on monday you guys are watching this on friday and i uh, am i lagging still hello hello hi guys hi guys anyways we just swept an entire team and if you guys have not checked out that video be sure to do so um i'm still debating on what our team builder is going to look like for next week uh, as far as what pokemon we're going to be using because i have been wanting to use the kanto starters as gigantamax pokemon but i'm still not sure because i'm trying to get a shiny squirtle and i have not gotten it yet so hopefully i get it this week i will keep you guys updated as far as that goes we are against matthew i think i already said that he's bringing a really cool team um venusaur is a really scary pokemon in his team uh the nine tails which can set up the aurora veil a little bit scary i'm not gonna lie um i can probably take it out with a crocodile in fact that's what we're gonna start with we're gonna start with crocodile here then go we can probably take it out with talon flame actually so we're gonna do talon flame we're gonna start talon flame if worse comes to worse we u-turn out of there i got 10 seconds to choose my pokemon now so there you go matthew i like your team draco Vish is not cool though Draco Vish is not cool. That's a Pokemon I absolutely I absolutely fear. All right, Matthew, shining bright like a diamond. I like your Lee card, my friend. Very unique. I've never seen a Lee card like that before. And I'm not being sarcastic, believe it or not. He got the fire in his eyes. You know what this means? And he starts with Night Tails. This is exactly what I wanted here. I think I outspeed the Night Tails, even though I am adamant nature. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. If he sets an Aurora Veil, he sets up an Aurora Veil. Steel Wing is times four, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so let's do some math. That it's already better. We're gonna Steel Wing out of here, or not out of here, but okay. I'm about to reveal that I got the Steel Wing. Ugly the Draco Vish comes out, and he's probably gonna resist this. He's probably gonna resist this. Yes. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit because he's gonna fish his Ren here and my Pokemon's not going to appreciate it. I'm gonna go into Amoongus anyways, given that I resist it, but he's still not gonna appreciate it because this thing is absolutely scary. Um, all right, here comes Amoongus. I hope this thing is not Choice Banded. Please don't be Choice Banded. I cannot watch this. That's some damage. Okay. We get, I get buffed. he gets buffed. Black Sledge Recovery offsets that, which is perfectly fine. And then, depending on what comes out, I'm honestly just going to click Spore here. If Nightingale wants to come out to set up Aurora Veil, I'm Sporing. That way, that thing goes to sleep. Is it raining outside? It's raining outside, isn't it? I just washed my car. That's upsetting. Okay. Yes. Nightingale comes out. About to get hit with the Spore, which she's not going to appreciate it. Or he's not going to appreciate it. And then this absolutely gives me the opportunity to switch into a threatening Pokemon. Uh, I don't know who it is going to be, though. I really don't know. Antalion and then Flare Blitz? No, Draco Vish is a thing. Yeah, right, we're going to go Talon Flame here. If my opponent decides to stay in and play Big Boy, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to Talon Flame here. And I'm absolutely going to click U-Turn. I'm gonna click U-turn. I think I'm playing the Night Tiles really, really well. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that because if he sets up an Aurora Veil, it's game. If he sets up an Aurora Veil, it's game. So he absolutely has to switch here. Perfect. Draco Vish is coming out. Here comes Draco Vish. Okay, perfect. Now I'm scarfed. He's scarfed. Um, we might. He might be Jolly Nature though. He might be Jolly Nature. And then right here, who do I go to? It's gonna be your boy. Um, Mr. Mime? No. Crocodile. I think it has to be Crocodile. What's my base speed? 80? I think my base speed is 80. Let me see. Crook. Crook. Crocodile's uh, not Hunchcrow. He's not even in this game. Not Murkrow either. Crocodile. 92. And I think he's a base 60, right? Draco. Ah, uh, no. Stop it. Draco Vish is a base 75. This is gonna be close. If he's jolly nature, I'm going down. But if he's adamant nature, I outspeed. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble a little bit. I'm gonna gamble a little bit here. Okay. 
Now, really? I am free to go for an earthquake. That's what I'm gonna do. I think that's the play. I'm gonna earthquake right here. Earthquake. Okay, if Lucario wants to come in, that's perfectly. We outspeed and Draco Bish, the biggest threat in this team, gets knocked out. If Night Owls wants to come in, I'm Moxie boosted Adam in here at this point, and it's gonna go down. So play your cards right, Matthew. Play your cards right, Matthew. Okay. I get buffed by the L, which is no biggie. No biggie. Plant Girl comes out. The Venusaur. Do we let him go down? I don't think we let him go down here. In fact, what I'm gonna do is go Snorlax because we are running Fire Punch. So if Nightall wants to come out, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna go Snorlax right here. I missed, I missed Mega Venusaur, to be honest. I miss seeing that. Petal Blizzard, which is a physical type attack. I don't appreciate that, you know? I do not appreciate that. We're gonna get hit by the, by the hell also, which is fine. I think, I think, I think, I think I'm fine to go for a fire punch once and then go self-destruct. We're gonna go kaboom. We're gonna go kaboom on you boys. All right, plant girl is about to get fire punched. I think, I think. If you wanna switch, you switch. Okay, I, I I'm taking this. I'm taking this very well. Don't poison. Yes, okay. My boys, we threaten this Venusaur now. If he values this Venusaur, he switches out. He switches out. He can't go into Lucario. He can't go into Cinderace. And we're gonna make a big boy play here. And we're gonna go ahead and Earthquake. No, he's staying in. He's staying in. This hurts my feelings. Don't knock me out, please. Earthquake, okay. I think we go Kaboom now. We go Kaboom. Never mind. Plant Girl goes down. Plant Girl goes down. I did not expect it for it to go down with an earthquake, but I'm glad it worked for us. I'm really glad it worked for us. It's getting darker, my boys. I think it's raining. I'm so upset because I really just washed my car today. Every time I wash my car, it rains that same day. It's not cool. All right. All right. I think as much as I want to kaboom, we have to let my Snorlax go down here. So we're gonna earthquake. It, because if he nasty plots, I'm in trouble. Okay. I think the next play is for us to go to your boy Talonflame. Because we resist both of this thing's stabs. That's why. So Talonflame comes out. And then we're gonna hit this thing with the Flare Blitz, right? Flare Blitz? Yeah. I mean, Cinderace is there, but I don't care. I really don't care. We're gonna Flare Blitz here. And it's gonna hurt. It's probably gonna knock out this Lucario. And I hope it does. I hope it does. Extreme speed. That's fine. We live one. We live like three of them, actually. Flare Blitz is going to knock this bad boy out. And it gets knocked out. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. We take a lot of recoil, which is fine. I think Talonflame has put in the, uh, the work it needs to. It put in the work it needed to. All right. Raichu comes out. I think I outspeed. Probably not. No, I don't outspeed. I outspeed. What? What? And we get another knockout, boys. And we're gonna get knocked out also. We live at 1 HP? <laughs> oh my goodness. If you guys don't leave a like in this video, I'm gonna be so upset. I am gonna be so upset. Sucker Bunny. The, uh, I almost called it Score Bunny, but it's not Score Bunny. This is a Cinderace. Comes out. Cinderace comes out. And we're just gonna click Flare Blitz. We're gonna click Flare Blitz. It still does half of Cinderace's HP, boys. Depending on what move he goes to. Are you Libero? You're not Libero. What does he have in the back? Nine tells. It's GG, boys. It's GG. I did not let him set up the Aurora Veil. And that's why he's going to lose this battle. Stone Edge. We're going to Stone Edge here. We're going to land on this. We're going to land it. You can Dynamax all you want, brother. You know, the best play was Earthquake. But I went Stone Edge because it's also super effective against the Nine tells. 
my brother over here going Gigantamax Cinderace. And that beautiful cry. That beautiful cry. And look at the fireball staring right at us. That is amazing. We land. It doesn't knock out. I didn't expect it to. He's going to go max. Oh, I thought he was going to go max knuckle, to be honest. We live this. We live this. Max knuckle was your best play. He probably not. He's probably not running max knuckle, though. If we miss this, we're in trouble. If we miss this, we're in trouble. This crocodile so far, has not let us down. All right, max guard. I wonder why he decided to go max guard. That is cool. Did you hear that? If you're listening with headphones, when he went back onto his fireball, you could hear an earthquake sound. Okay, Stone Edge. It's done. It's done. It is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. My team. I am so proud of this team. And it's the Italian, though. Italian hasn't even come out yet, and this team is just putting in the work. I am so impressed by this team. I am super impressed by this team. Okay, we're gonna stone edge here and we're not missing because we're genies. Okay, stone edge. I told you we're not missing and it knocks out. Take the headphones off. Take the headphones off, do a 360 and I just hit my mic, I'm sorry. I am sorry. That one hurt my elbow. But that was amazing. I played so well against that Ninetales. I played so well with that Ninetales. That's gonna be it for this video. Be sure you guys leave a like, comment down below on your thoughts about this battle and who the most valuable Pokemon was in this Wi-Fi battle. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles and videos. It's your boy Daddy Mac. I will see you next time.